Today is April 30, 2022. We're up in Grand Plain, up in the mountains of Laganav in Haiti. And uh, we're planting breadfruit trees today. And uh, so I just thought I'd uh, share a little bit about what that process looks like. We brought, a, uh, I think, 100 breadfruit up to this, uh, the, this campus of Life Garden. And uh, so those are the trees that will be planted today. And uh, Dede here is uh, making uh, or getting the compost out of the bin, and then that'll that'll go in the hole with the dig for the for the trees. And then you can see out in the distance them doing their work. Uh, the woman you see and we'll see here is Natalie Matthew. She's one of our two agronomists. And so she's kind of the, the boss of these two uh, uh, campuses of our agricultural work. And the workers have great respect for her. She has a, a, just an admirable work ethic that everybody comments on. Very lovely lady, uh, very personable, energetic, uh, enthusiastic, loves loves uh, the, the earth and the gardening and agriculture and all things that go with it, and she loves to teach. And so she's she's making sure that these breadfruits uh, are planted in a way that maximizes their uh, likelihood of surviving. And I think they will. This ground is, as you can see, very fertile, uh, not very rocky like a lot of places. Uh, we have a water so source that's uh, going to ensure that even when we go into the dry season in November, December, that we're going to have water to tide them over the, the first dry season of their lives. Uh, in the meantime, the rainy season has started now. Uh, we're getting rains a lot every, probably every couple days we get a nice rain, usually at night and uh, keeps the soil. You can see that the soil is nice and moist. Uh, so here comes Dede with the next phase of planting. Uh, you can see that the gar this garden is about five acres or so, I'm guessing. We've never really measured it, but it's, it's everything you can see uh, up into the large tree line in the, in the distance uh, where the, it goes up the, the mountain a little bit more. And we want to develop this entire five acre space into uh, something that is uh, very productive and uh, now breadfruit you can read about breadfruit on google uh, so i won't waste your time here but uh, breadfruit is a is a tree that we want to grow here for a long time we're not gonna we're not gonna dig these up ever and replant them uh, what we hope to do in the future, however, is propagate off of them. So we have um, several hundred breadfruit that we've uh, uh, imported, and uh, and we're going to get them started. And when they get to a fairly mature age, maybe four or five years from now, they should be they should be several, maybe five or six uh, feet tall, and then we can start propagating them. Uh, uh, from their branches you can't propagate them from seeds or you can do you can do some root uh, propagation but the best way to propagate is uh, by propagating from the branches and so anyway this is a good start on uh, restoring breadfruit what used to be a high uh, output agricultural product here in Haiti has kind of gone by the wayside for various reasons and we're going to restore that here on the island of Laganam. So we'll just kind of wait this process out. I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What are we waiting for, Lona? Oh yeah, a little detail. I could have brought those with me when I came. So we're waiting for the actual breadfruit seedling. Uh, these breadfruits <coughs> were grown from tissue culture in a test tube in California. And uh, that allows us to bring them in in large quantity. 
and so uh, we brought these in in the fall and uh, have been nurturing them in our nursery down in our uh, campus down at the sea level where our shade garden is and uh, And we need to get them in the ground now that the rains are coming with regularity. So they dig a hole, they put um, just a real loose uh, mulch around there to kind of provide some uh, soil texture and aeration and places for microorganisms to live. Then we add uh, uh, the compost that you saw Day Day pulling out of the compost bin. And then we're also adding something called Vital Blend, which is a, a product from uh, Niles, Michigan. It's a soil amendment. So it has the biochar uh, soil amendment, uh, which provides the microscopic architecture for nutrition, and the, the nutrients and the and the water and the microorganisms to kind of uh, stay around and not leach out. That's a permanent amendment to soil. And so we've, we're really excited about uh, what the, the results that's given us in our, um, our seedling planting survival. So we mix that in with a little bit more mulch and put that into the hole. And then we water it really well. And uh, we instruct the people that, that work here on a daily basis that they need to look after these on a daily basis and make sure that they're not drying out, that they're healthy, that they're well watered. So. Then what we do is uh, we have a way of tracking these and so we for for this little area of planting we're going to track it on a website called treetracker.org and uh, we can see where we've planted exactly to the gps coordinates uh the the trees uh, that gives um, partner organizations and donors who help to uh, to with the with the cost of getting these trees here that helps them know that that things have been done according to hope, what they had hoped and what we hope and what we promise so so what we do is we have a little sign there and we take a picture uh with another a different camera dedicated to the use of uh tree tracking and then it uploads to to who knows where satellite internet whatever and then we can go back and find it on that site website later so there's a successfully tra transplanted uh, or planted red fruit seedling and uh baby steps baby steps but we hope that this will make a difference for decades and in uh, Haiti and especially in Laganav where the need is so great.